Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Karen. In today's video, I'd like to review um, a few patterns that I picked up. It's about two new patterns that I picked up and then um, a few others with some fall sewing plans that I, I have. Um, this time I decided to try uh, PDF patterns. This is my first set of PDF patterns and um, I think I have learned a lesson here which I don't think I'll ever do again but the first one um, basically I want to review with you and talk about is the one that I just bought. I bought two new Vicky patterns and they are the Doris dress. It's like a trapeze dress which I absolutely love. To me, it looks free flowing and I'll put something up. This is just something I printed um, for myself to create a, a, an envelope and then put the, the pattern in. But my thing with this um, PDF pattern is I it, it, it's, it, it turned out to be more expensive than I budgeted for or that I planned to spend on a pattern. So I think I've paid $9 in some sense, so maybe $10 for each pattern. And then I requested the AO size, which meant that I had to go get it printed at one of these um, stores. I went to a UPS store and I got this printed and I'm not happy because I printed three sheets and I spent about $40 for the three sheets. So the dress is um, was able to be on one, and I think it was about fourteen dollars for one printed sheet. So I was saying to myself, if this is how expensive the P it is to print PDF patterns, um, I don't know everybody else does it, but it's really convenient when you I guess you're able to print it wherever you are because you can't get it at your location or where presently in your in your country, and so it makes sense to do it that way. But I don't have the patience to print the A4 papers and put them together, I, I really don't have that patience. So I'd rather spend $14, but then at the rate I was doing, uh, it's not, not something I can sustain. So I'm gonna try these two and I'm gonna do some research and see if there's a cheaper way or more e economical way to print these because I it's not something I can do. So for this one, um, I decided to go with, which I'm, I'm really hesitant, this dress which I love. I love it in this color, but it's fall. So I decided to get this burnt orange. I absolutely love this color. This color is something that I wanted to do the biker jacket in originally that I got that I had to throw out. It was ruined. So I got this at Mood Fabrics. It was, um, I got two yards of linen and um, I can get the dress out of it, hopefully. Um, I'm going to try and cut. I'm not mentally prepared to start cutting this yet, so I don't know. But um, I think I got a, a medium or large. I'm not quite sure. I don't remember. But um, this is a fabric I chose for it. I think it's gorgeous fabric, and I love it against my skin. It's just beautiful. Um, the linen is absolutely lovely, but um, we'll see what happens. So the Vicky sews pattern, the Doris dress is my first option with this. Um, I wanted to do a jacket, like one of the butter jackets that I, I normally sew. I, like, I wanted to do one of those for the fall so that when my trees on my street, my block mm -hmm. changes, I have something for that. Every year I, I really like to catch those of these when they're changing. I think that color is beautiful. I don't know if that dress will do, but if I change my mind, I'll let you know. The next one I have is that's not a PDF, is this green. I got this one for Mood. I got three yards of this linen. And um, the reason I went with this linen, I, I, I couldn't judge the color. So I have two yards of this, like an olive green linen. And I wanted to make the Blanca fly suit. I had some beige, I think it was cotton sateen that I was planning to do with that, but I changed my mind with the cotton sateen. i rather do something um, with linen or something like that for this. 
So I thought, why not get some more of this? Because I have two yards and that's going to be like about three and a half yards for that. Um, but it came, luckily I got three because I don't normally get two unless it's something specific. So I got three yards of this and they're not the same colors. Definitely not the same colors. So I'm thinking of just putting this aside since I can't get the out of it and just go with this one. I think this is a gorgeous color and it'd be great for this. Hopefully I don't make a mess or I don't spoil this because every time I pick it up to actually try it, I get scissor shocked or shy and I like put it away. But I absolutely love this color. And so I'm gonna try and see what I can do with this. Um, I think when it comes down to linen, I should not be that stubborn and try a mock-up and see what happens because it would be just such a waste to spoil this fabric on something that I'm not sure of. So I definitely am going to do a mock-up and see um, what happens. But yeah, the fly suit for this green, I absolutely love it. Um, I think I'll put the fabric up so you can take a look as well as the patterns. The next one I have is this gorgeous color, this gold color. It looks really bright, but it's not that bright. So I got, I love this one so much that I got four yards of this linen. I absolutely love it. It looks like a pumpkin, just a nice blend color for the fall. Um, maybe golden, perhaps. I did have some yellow back there before, which is a totally different color. They're both from Mood, but this one is like a, a heathered yellow. It has streaks of streaks of white going through it. I'm not sure you can see it. Streaks of white going through it right there. Whereas this is just plain gold. Yeah, so I absolutely love this one really do love this one um i love it so much that um as i said i got four yards of it and i'm gonna do this vicky um play suit it's the heidi play suit i'm sorry by vicky sews i looked at it and i love it and i love it because it has the elastics on the back area with the gather it has a yoke back as well and then um it's the back has two pieces joined together to after the yoke and then the elastics at the, the elastic at the back there's no elastic at the front looks like the elastic comes all the way through to the sides um together and catch that belt um i got this pattern i'm gonna put the picture that kind of convinced me to get it the i like the tailoring at the pocket and the bust area i just I just looked at the side and I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely in for this. The only adjustment I think I'll make is make it a bit longer lengthwise for the shorts, like have something catching me perhaps at my knee to make it more practical, something I can dress up or something I can dress down. If it's too short, then it's limited to just a play suit. But again, if it's at my knee, that's for my style, that is um, more practical for me at the knee of just above the knee where I can kind of blend well with it and play around depending on what shoes or how you wish to to you know dress it up but yeah i absolutely love this one and again i should have enough left over from this um after making it um the disadvantage for me with these um if i'm gonna spend this much money on a pattern i i i i'd like to have the packaging I'm one of those who I love packaging and I love presentation. I love the little details. So for me, I would be looking at the pattern or, you know, can be looking at it and saying, okay, it takes this much fabric or whatever, or just the box. If it's a pretty box or it presented well, that's me. So the PDF patterns is not something that I think I'll go for again because I'd rather have my packaging and I'm not into cutting and going to the store and spending all that money. So um this one i really don't regret though but let's see what happens again this is gonna be i'm gonna do a test uh <laughs> i'm gonna do a mock-up first uh create a toil first and see how it turns out it's just gonna be a lot of work but I, I don't know i'd rather do that and um cut it and not spoil it so 
that's that so for right now I have the dress planned I also have the play suit planned and I have the other jumpsuit planned um the other two are pretty simple they won't give me any stress <laughs> and this one is um, I'm gonna make this uh, blouse here it's the McCall 6436 it's McCall 6436 and I love view A that's view A right there and when I saw that I looked at two options because since I have the other green fabric I thought why not make this this uh, blouse and it's view A it just looks like a safari thing going on there and I love that one that middle one right there so I'm thinking I have enough two yards here can make that and that's because it came and I realized I don't have enough to make it so I switched it around I also am thinking of making another simple blouse I'm not sure um, what occasion I have in my mind but I absolutely love this smooth textured fabric I got two yards and I know I, I got it from mood a while back maybe I should start <sighs> I got this from mood a while back and I'm trying to see yeah I did I got this from mood a while back and this is two yards um, uh, it's a cotton shirt shirting so it has this smooth uh really smooth texture like a soft and it texture and it has this sheen to it so i'm thinking this will be good for a nice dress ruffle top blouse thing going on i'm not sure what i want to do with it but when in doubt i'm always okay with a shirt so i'm thinking of a nice uh dress shirt right now which is b if not i'll go to my uh vogue 8872 i think which is my other um favorite one but i absolutely love this fabric and i think it falls in line with the fall idea i have for almost everything that i've uh, selected so far so yeah that's what i'm going with um the next one i have is going to be this right here and it's like a chambray like a denim style color but it's a chambray I think I have a blue denim shirt already but it's not necessarily denim it's like a more of a, a cotton linen blend um, more so cotton but I was looking for something like this I don't need a linen but something soft and practical just a dark blue shirt that blends well whether you're gonna dress it up or it's gonna be a casual wear I'm trying to find stuff that fits in with my fall collection that I'm trying to um, create. So I'm gonna use this top here. I think I've made it before and I've made it in pink. I'm gonna make it with the, uh, I'm trying to find out which view it is. I'm gonna do view A. And view A is gonna be this one right here with the fancy pockets. That's what I'm calling it, the fancy pockets. So yeah this is what that's gonna be this nice shirt um i don't know if i'll make it bigger to add more room or something like that but yeah i absolutely love this one so that's that what's that one gonna be um the next one i have is this i think you've seen if you've watched my channel or you're not watching it for the first time i'm sorry I'm, i shouldn't assume i think you've seen this one before let me grab my glasses um this one is a cotton voile and i asked for three yards of this and unfortunately i got two over here and one over here because that was what was left um i got an email that this is the option that they had i didn't check my email in time and if i didn't respond so they, they would shift it and so i bought this with the idea that I'm going to use it to line my trench coat. I started working on my trench coat last week. I'm almost done, so I wanted to wait for this lining to go with it. I had this from a previous um, project, and this is a uh, uh, linen batiste, I think it was. It is. I also got it from Mood. It was my first time working with it, and I got this bow tie blouse i don't remember what it was what it was but i believe it's a butterick i made from it so i thought i had pieces left so i was working on the pockets and i think it 
it goes well there is another fabric i'll put it up and show it to you that i thought i wanted to use for the lining but then i went with this and now i'm having second thoughts this one has a smooth texture to it and it kind of it's thin enough light enough with a little it's breathable but then um i thought why not do the cotton voil which might be lighter but you can't see they're totally like this one has a smooth finish to it this one is just bland there are two different types but the same design so i have three yards of this now which i can use to finish that trench coat as the lining but again i'm having second thoughts i'm not sure if i should just go with this and, and forget about it but it's here already i don't want to make a top with it because i already have a top with that fabric so that's basically it um those are my plans for right now these are the color blends i absolutely love them i just think they're beautiful colors and um i really am not sure this one is my favorite this one's also my favorite and this one's my favorite can you have many favorites um we'll see but these are my plans for this fall i know i've started a few before i said i was going to make a few things i often get bored or sidetrack and change my mind and i have to stay motivated or i'll you know just lose my my sojo at that point so these are my plans i hope that you stay around stick around and see what they turn out to be and again as always i appreciate you for watching my videos and con your continued support have a great day and thank you very much for watching. Bye.